Hey, what's up? How's it going? This is Pedro at SED Fitness, and I am going to demonstrate your wrist mobility and uh, forearm prehab training. This has been designed for the Pasco High Volleyball team, but this is applicable to anybody in any range of sports and athletic moves because we all need to have these ranges of motion. So I'm going to go through this video right now, um, line item by line item as it is, as, uh, as I have typed it up in the email, okay? So first thing you got here is Palmer circular rotations. Put your wrist down right here, then you'll go rotations, adding weight over the wrists. Now, how mobile and flexible your wrists are will uh, depend on how far you will take this as you're doing it. You have uh, multiple positions to do it in. I have them typed up here. You have your forward, you have your outward right here. You can also do it with your hands facing in here. And then you also can place them in reverse here. Going in all those different uh, planes of move motion right there will help with uh, taking care of, you know, just all the tissue and the wrists and forearms that you work here. Um, then there's also the dorsal variation of this. Palms overhead right here. Circles. Same thing, hit all the different planes of motion that I was just describing. If this is challenging for you, come up right here so that there's less of a load on the wrist. The more advanced and the stronger your wrists become, the further out you can go and the more load you can press here. So again, hit all the different planes that we described before, just like when you would up here on the other side. Then there's the wrist palmer rotations, right here. All you're doing is pressing into the, into the ground with your wrists and rotating so that the elbows face forward and outwardly here. And you can again do that in the dorsal variation as well. And you can also switch the positions of the hands. The, the ranges of motion will be very limited when you do that, but it still adds another uh, variation of movement there. Then there is the wrist forearm raise. You just go up to the base of the fingers here. And this is to add some strength to the palms here. It's like doing a calf raise, but for your forearms essentially. Applying pressure to the different parts of the fingers, okay? So put some pressure to the thumb. Sometimes you put it to the base right here. Um, and then the next one is the fingertip uh, raise. I believe it's the wrist palm raise. Come all the way to the top right here, onto your fingers, and go all the way down. That's to add strength and length through the fingertips and all the tendons and ligaments that go through the hands and fingers. Of course, this is important because, uh, you know, as volleyball players, you use the hands all the time, right? Setting, spiking, whatever. So creating these different strengths and angles is good for when they fall, trip, whatever it is, you know. And the last one I have there is the uh, loaded isolation fingertip hold. So this is just to build strength in the fingers from when they're popping that ball up so that there's less pain associated with that. Start here. Eventually, loading more weight and holding the fingertips there. Then as they get stronger, further and further, and eventually being able to go to a push-up position and hold the fingertips loaded there, which will help with, you know, setting. Stronger fingers for setting. Not being afraid of a ball coming from an extreme height and popping that up, right? So, anyway, that's segment one.